In this video, I'm going to cover what podcasting is and some of the uh, items that you'll need, both hardware and software, and just a few resources on uh, podcasting. In this uh, screen here, I just I found this really cute cartoon years ago. Um, had you subscribed to my podcast, you would have learned my dog ate my homework. So podcasting really has been around for quite some time. I don't think a lot of us realize that sometimes we're accessing sites that are podcast. And podcast is really just a combination of audio files and video files used usually in a, um, a series or a sequence. So you can have a podcast site that goes over gardening tips or cooking. Used a lot in education when you have professors that are introducing a specific topic and they may have a series of audio files or a combination of audio and video files. Uh, you also see this a lot on talk shows. They also have podcast sites as well. And you can go back and actually review or view uh, what was said or done uh, weeks ago. So podcast um, is the term of iPod and broadcast combined. It was, it's delivered through a uh, what we call web feed, and sometimes you'll see um, an RSS feed, which is, stands for really simple syndication. And you'll see some icons on websites in the upper right-hand corner. It'll be an orange box that looks like uh, wave signals or wave signs, and that's an RSS feed. What is podcasting? Listeners determine the time and the place to listen or view the podcast so you don't have to be online at the time that it's actually taking place. They decide what programming they want to receive and when they want to listen to it. So podcasting can be used for listening to radio stations, speeches, training sessions, self-guided walking tours, commentaries, storytelling for the visually impaired. And just some useful sites um, about podcasts, uh, Feed for All, which is a really good site uh, that gives you a tutorial on how to do a podcast, uh, podcasting-tools, podcast.com, and how to podcast tutorial.com, and then podcastalley.com, and the last one, podcastpickle.com, which also gives you some uh, sites that you can actually uh, go to and, on specific topics. Uh, what do you need to, to podcast? Well, first you need the hardware. So you need to make sure you have a computer with internet access. You don't want to use dial-up. It's too slow. Then you need a sound card. And most modern computers these days will have a sound card. You will also need a microphone and speakers. Now, I like using the uh, headsets with the built-in mic. Uh, but you need this for recording. And most of your notebooks these days will have built-in mics. If you don't have a built-in mic or a headset, Usually, if you have a webcam, that also has a built-in mic as well. And then if you're going to do videos, obviously, you'll need a video camera or a camcorder for recording. Now, as far as software, this is where you're going to need the software to do the recording, um, especially if you're doing an audio. Uh, software basic program to record sound. Obviously, if you're doing a video, um, then your camcorder or if you have a smartphone that has video recording, you can use that as well. In Windows, there is a uh, software called Sound Recorder. It's really simple and easy to use, so there's no downloading if you have a Windows app. I'm not sure what it would be called um, if you're on the Mac. That's something you can obviously look up. But anyway, to do the or to use Sound Recorder, you'll just go to All Programs, Accessories, and then you'll see Sound Recorder. It's very, very easy to use. Another popular um, audio recording software that is a uh, open source, so it's free, it's called Audacity, and it's full-featured sound recording, so you can do a lot of editing with it as well. It's not the easiest to use. Um, you'll probably want to go through a tutorial on how to use it, whether it's something that's provided to you from the instructor and the resources for the class, or whether you choose to go online. And then also uh, WavePad. Now WavePad I really like using, but it is a 14-day trial version. It's very easy to use as well. Now if you're going to do movies, one of the things you might want to do is some editing of your movies. So you can add screen captions to it. Windows Live Movie Maker is a really neat uh, software. It's free and it allows you to bring in videos that you've already recorded and add some captions and do some really cool things to your video. Also Cam Studio. 
which allows you to record your computer screen. Now, I really like this, one, because it's free, and um, two, because if you are doing some things that you want people to view what's on your computer screen, whether it's software that you're teaching or whether you're just bringing up PowerPoint slides like I'm doing, uh, you can use Cam Studio. Now, I use a software called Camtasia only because it is provided to me. It is, it is for a fee, it's a couple hundred dollars, um, but again, you, you pick and choose. If you think you're going to get into doing podcasting or videos, then you might want to look into something like Camtasia. Um, otherwise, stick with Cam Studio for um, a lot of your screen caption editing, and then obviously Movie Maker for editing some of the videos you've already done. So that is some of the things about podcasting. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to some of the sites. Um, what you see right now, if you're in the IM155 course, this is a folder that I have underneath um, course resources on podcasting. So you can access the PowerPoint that I did in PDF format. We do have an IM155 podcast site. Unfortunately, at the time of the recording of this video, uh, Podbean is down, so we, are, we cannot access our uh, course podcast site. But I do also have instructions on how to install WavePad if you choose to use WavePad. Keep in mind it's only for a 14-day trial version, as well as how to install Podbean. And then a uh, video on how to use WavePad and Podbean and then also how to record using WavePad as well. Now I also have a link to the Podbean website. So as you go through the material in your course uh, book over podcasting, one of the sites you're going to be using after you do your audio and video recording is Podbean. So you'll be setting up that site. I'm going to turn that off. I um, also have a link out to the WavePad audio program and a link out to Audacity as well. Then I also have some other links here, one to some podcasting tools that are useful, and then the uh, capture screen uh, recording software Cam Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a few sites. Uh, this one is the Cam Studio, and it is open source, which means it's free. And this is the website that you can go to for it. Another one is Audacity. Now, when you go to the Audacity site, make sure you get the correct version for the operating system that you're using. And follow the instructions carefully and just take your time. Uh, this next site is actually a link where you can download WavePad as well. And you might just want to rec uh, download the record pad if you don't want to do um, much editing with it. You just want to do voice recordings. And then this is the Podbean site that you will eventually be going to. And this is the home page. And what you'll do when you start creating your uh, podcast site is you'll have to have a place to house it or, pub or publish it. And we'll be using Podbean. So you'll click on sign up and you'll go through the uh, steps in the book on how to sign up for um, a Podbean site as well. So I think you'll enjoy podcasting. And just have fun with it and don't don't get so hung up on the uh, the logistics or the steps you are going to make mistakes that's all part of learning but once you go through it a couple times uh, you'll have a great time with it and uh, then you'll have a better understanding of some of the other resources you have available not just as a listener or a viewer but also as somebody that wants to put information out there to your clients to your audience um, or just start becoming a podcaster enjoy <laughs>